Hey guys, it's Jody. Here we go again with another Mattel dealer catalog. This one is from 1996. And it looks like in this catalog we are going to find some Disney, of course. We're going to find Cabbage Patch Kids. Uh, some kind of space shuttle toy. Some Hot Wheels. And some Polly Pocket. And of course, of course, of course, Barbie. It looks like this is not just a girls catalog. This is for girls and boys, which is awesome. Okay, let's dive in. We'll look at our little welcome statement here. And we can see some fun toys already that we're gonna be taking a look at. 1996 Mattel. Our table of contents over here, it looks like flagship item is Barbie. So Barbies are going to be in the front. It looks like 71 pages of Barbie. And then we have some Polly Pocket, some Cabbage Patch Kids, some Disney Classics, Sea and Say, Pooh, Hot Wheels, Street Sharks, cool. Space Monkeys, Constructs. Nickelodeon, we've got some games and some sports stuff. So let's get started. Most likely we're going to do a two-parter again on this one. Probably Barbies and then um, maybe the rest of the girls and then maybe the boys stuff or we'll kind of see how it goes. But make sure and um, check out the other videos from this series and my other Mattel dealer catalogs I have a 1993 and a 1995 that are the girls toys already up here on eBay or on <laughs> YouTube okay let's get started with the Barbies 1996 we have twirling ballerina Barbie doll she's pretty and then we also have Olympic gymnast Barbie 96 is in a was an Olympics year so that's probably why Summer Olympics in Atlanta and then next we've got some beachy style Barbies here we have sparkle beach Barbie of her friends here and they're super sparkly and then we have ocean magic Barbie so each of these dolls actually came with ocean animals which is kind of cool you see Ken has a sea turtle there and I'm assuming this is maybe Nia and she's got a seal We have the Ocean Magic Whale. Barbie is riding the whale because, of course, why would you not? And then we have a foam and color Barbie doll assortment. So you have these foams that you could play with in the bathtub. And apparently it colored Barbie's hair, which is cool. Um, and then we have Pretty Hearts Barbie. She's kind of like a basic Barbie. I'm guessing she came in one of those, you know, skinnier boxes. Which would be like, I'd consider like the more affordable Barbies. And then we have My First Tea Party Barbie doll. So she must have come with this tea set. And that is a pretty little dress and some invitations to her tea party. I want to go to Barbie's tea party. And then this is the happy birthday Barbie doll. And I'm not sure if they made these every year or when they started, but you do find a lot of happy birthday Barbies. 
and I remember um, my sister was much more into Barbies than I was and she had a I think it was a record with a song called Happy Birthday Barbie so every time someone says or sings happy birthday I think of that song happy birthday Barbie I'm so glad to have you as a friend happy birthday Barbie I just hope the good times never end <laughs> yes that song has been in my head since the 80s thanks Barbie this is songbird Barbie and I'm assuming Songbird Ken in his glitter tuxedo. She must come with one of those birds. Do you remember these were really popular in the 90s? They had the, the magnet, or not magnet, but like they were weighted. And so you just touch them on the tip of your finger and help them there. I'm guessing that's what that is. One of those little things. And then we've got Pet Dr. Barbie and my size dancing Barbie. So it looks like Pet Doctor Barbie. This was a very popular Barbie, I think, because I cannot tell you how many pairs of these pants I have found over the years in Barbie clothes lots. There's a little description of Pet Doctor Barbie. And then over here we have my size dancing Barbie doll which my size dolls are usually very tall. Let's see if it says here how tall they are. They're usually around three foot-ish, I wanna say. So that's a fancy one. It says she stands on her own, although it looks like she's got a stand here. Oh, and then we've got some Kelly dolls. We've got Bath Time Fun Kelly doll. Oh, come on now. Oh, she's in a bubble bath. Oh, maybe she actually comes with some bubble bath for her bathtub. That'd be fun. And then it looks like some of Kelly's friends. Little Friends of Kelly doll assortment. And then we've got some skipper friends here too. Um, oh, here's another Kelly shopping fun Barbie and Kelly playset. So it looks like this comes with a shopping cart, and maybe it even comes with um, a little shelf. She's got some um, animal crackers sort of matching outfits and then this one is phone fun skipper doll because you know how you had fun with your phones <laughs> yeah these phones didn't have games on them folks <laughs> it was just calling people and no one does that anymore <laughs> And then we have some mermaids and gymnasts. These gals look pretty flexible. Uh, I don't think most Barbies actually do, well, I guess they could do those two things, but that looks a little more flexible than you usually see Barbie. Well, this is Stacy. Okay, it's a Stacy. comes with uneven bars. Hmm. Whitney comes with a balance beam and Janet comes with a vault. Oh, that's cool. And then we have jewel hair mermaid Barbies. In case you want to read all about them. And I'm guessing they have these fancy jewel stars that you can clip or sticker into their hair and of course they're wearing those mermaid tails we've got a horse here flying hero horse and flying hero barbie doll and friends flying hero all right 
Couldn't get a Wonder Woman license, so we will make our own. And then we'll have a horse to match. Looks very much like a horse you would get with She-Ra or dolls like that. And then these are fashions, Barbie Fashion Avenue assortments. The site is denim. Look at that fancy gold and denim and denim and fur. denim vest. She's got a nice fanny pack there. Oh my goodness, camera, why are you not focusing? And then on this side, we have Barbie Fashion Avenue outerwear. So we have a pink raincoat yes please and a gold puffy coat <laughs> a nice sweater and with some mittens and then this kind of westerny style coat fun more fashion avenue we've got cool trends assortment and short glamour short glamour Because she's wearing short skirts, I guess. Uh -huh. Got some fishnet stockings on there. This one with the plaid is interesting. Plaid and fishnets. Okay, they're going for something there. And then these are cool trends. You've got your plaid with your suspenders and your empire waist and thigh-high <laughs> leggings and shorts with a turtleneck. Nothing more 90s than that. move on to more Fashion Avenue. They were really big on the Fashion Avenue and the Fashion Avenue was not just your general Barbie outfits. These were your high-end Barbie outfits. So they came in a big box and they were like in the 90s they were like 10 to 15 dollars for the outfit. So this one is called Fancy Frills. And it's your like lingerie. Probably not necessarily meant for little girls. And over here we have Ken Fashions. He's got a messenger bag there and a three piece suit here and a fancy sweater. And then look at that brown motorcycle jacket. And then we have my first Barbie fashion assortments. And then there's some more Fashion Avenue over here. This is the evening wear collection for when Barbie goes out. Um, this is a little more than just going out, right? This is like a gala or something. Of course, there's a wedding dress. And then Ken has this, come on, focus, there we go. Ken has this tuxedo that has purple lapels and chains down the front. And look at the size of the sleeves on that one. It's like she just stepped off the set of Falcon Crest or something. And then these are my first fashions. So that usually means, and we've come across these before, it usually means they're made so they're easier to come on and off for littler girls. 
easy to dress for little fingers. We've got Barbie Western Fun Fashions and Float and Cool Fashions. So of course your Western Fun are always your cowgirls. And country was very big in the 90s. So of course you're going to have some fun dance and styles. And then the float and cool fashions are beachy. Barbie's going on a boat with this one. And that's sort of your uh, Mary Ann from Gilligan's Island type outfit. Look at her pink sunglasses. Cute. And we have some Skipper and Stacy fashion assortments. So Stacy, I'm gonna say, is like a little younger than Skipper. Skipper's like maybe 13, Stacy's like 10 is what my guess would be. And then we also have Kelly who's like five or six. So Skipper, she's like a tween, almost a teen, and then Stacy's just a couple years younger. Look at these bell sleeves, that's real 90s. And then the thigh highs and the plaid schoolgirl. Okay, Skipper. Very um, clueless styles, if you remember that movie and TV show. And then we've got Kelly and Career Ken. So Kelly's fashion assortment is just all kinds of different stuff. Swimming and hanging out in the sunshine, going to school. At least she doesn't have thigh highs on. And then Ken over here, he's trying out some different careers like a uh, soccer player and um, construction worker, doctor, baseball player, um, lifeguard, or maybe he's just trying out to be in the um, village people. <laughs> then these are greeting cards you could get that um, had Barbie outfits and the greeting cards. So when you sent someone a birthday card, you could also be sending them a Barbie dress. And they're pretty basic usually. Oh, and here's some more. We've got some Valentines. Their Valentine's assortment is not very assorted. <laughs> you have two. <laughs> it's so interesting how they place this on the page. Like, maybe they meant to have two more, but they didn't. So instead of changing the picture and making these bigger, they just left these big gaps. It's kind of funny. And then you have your Christmas cards and Christmas themed. Convenient and easy to mail. Assortment includes three adorable Valentine themed fashions with matching cards. Yet we really only see two here. And then we have Easter cards. I've had this dress. I've actually, I think I've had all three of these dresses. So they must come from Easter cards. And then greeting cards, Children's Day. Oh, cool. Dia del Nino. That's neat. And then we have Barbie Pretty Treasures assortments. 
so these are basic assortments and these are basically like um, they're like a really hard plastic um, gold colored or pink colored they're sort of metallic And I have come across these assortments. Not these big ones, though. That one's neat. The wedding one. And a picnic. And a um, cookie one. And this is like a fancy dinner. You know, the back where we saw that Ken with the gold chains on his, or the silver chains on his jacket and the purple lapels. This is where he was going, right here. <laughs> And then we've got some horse gear. We've got Barbie Nibbles horse. And I didn't realize that there were so many horses. I have a video that I did an unboxing of a Barbie Steppen style horse. And I didn't realize there were so many different Barbie horses. Someone commented on that video that they had 25 different Barbie horses in their collection. And that they collect the Barbie horses. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then this is Barbie Feeding Fun Stable playset. So there's all kinds of little horse accessories. There's some birds. It's one horse and one Barbie doll. And then we have the Barbie movie theater and the Barbie Cali, Cali and Calico. So these are pets. A kitty and a puppy dog that you could get. And then the movie theater has a little like it's like a little candy counter looks like there's some um, accessories that come with it that's fun the Barbie movie theater projects images via mirrors from the child's TV to a Barbie doll sized theater screen hmm Includes four theater chairs, mini cash register, popcorn scoop, two paper popcorn bags, and many extra food play pieces. Hmm. Interesting. So, let's see if we can kind of see here what it shows. Come on, focus. There we go. So it looks like you can see the theater seats there and the screen. Huh. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that. And then we have a Barbie Dream House playset and Barbie Traveling Surprise House. So this one folds up into like a little suitcase. There's a closet in there and some drawers and a little bed and a mirror. That's pretty much all Barbie needs, right? Is a bed and a closet and a mirror. And she's good. And then over here we have the Barbie Dream House playset, which every girl wanted. This is a fun one, too. And then on the next page, we move on to a world of fun fashion products just for girls, and then Mexican Barbie doll. So this is stuff for you, well, if you were littler, I think, <laughs> that you could buy a Barbie bike, rollerblades, and knee pads, no helmet though, of course. Uh, Barbie doll suitcase, doll case, 
birthday party stuff. Phones, a CD player, they didn't play actual CDs, but little pretend ones that came with it. Um, a little clock, some toy phones, a toy cash register. Yeah, a lot of fun little Barbie themed items that weren't necessarily for playing with Barbies. And then your Mexican Barbie doll. She's pretty. I love that outfit. And then, oh, it looks like we have some more international friends here. We have a Japanese doll and an Indian doll. She's dressed in a pretty sari. And then a Japanese doll. Has a nice kimono. And then we have a Guyanan Barbie doll and a Norwegian Barbie doll. Those, all those prints on that fabric. I love it. And she's got some nice jewelry. And those gold shoes. And then we have a Pioneer Barbie and an American Indian Barbie. With a little baby. This one's from the American Stories Collection. So these are probably more than anything your collector Barbies, more than your Barbies for play, which they were starting to do more in the late 90s. So we have Barbie as Bo Peep here and Civil War Nurse Barbie. I wonder if she has like a bone saw in that case. she actually comes with a sheep. Kind of be funky if she didn't. Includes labeled doll, hairbrush, and reply card. Maybe she doesn't come with a sheep. Come on, it's little Bo Peep for goodness sakes. And then we have the classic collection glamour barbie and then the 30th anniversary barbie and ken star trek gift set okay i didn't know barbie was a trekkie actually i did but <laughs> barbie's in everything isn't she <laughs> look at this dress whoo And we have Victorian Lady Barbie and Grecian Goddess Barbie. Look at her hair. And all that gold. And here's our Victorian Lady. She's got a bustle and a lot of velvet. As the Tin Man and Enchanted Evening Barbie, which this I'm guessing is a reproduction of the original Enchanted Evening. 
wearing one of the most popular fashions of all time. 35th anniversary. Hmm. And then here's Ken in his... Ooh, look at that axe. In his Tin Man outfit from The Wizard of Oz, of course. And then we have Glenda, the Good Witch, also from The Wizard of Oz, and Ken as Professor Higgins. She's got quite the crown there. This is the Hollywood Legends collection. And then Ken is distinguished as Mr. Henry Higgins from My Fair Lady, of course. I wonder how much these cost in 1996. And then we have the uh, two different My Fair Lady outfit Barbies. We have Eliza Doolittle in her coat with some flowers. From the opening scene of the 1964 musical. This is, of course, also Eliza Doolittle in her super fancy, reminds me of the outfits they wear at the Seas Candy Shop. I mean, obviously they're not this elaborate, but they wear white with black stripes. It's not like this at all. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. And then two more lovely special collection Barbies, another My Fair Lady, and another My Fair Lady. We were very excited about My Fair Lady this year, weren't we, Mattel? Look at all of that ruffle. Number one, and this is Barbie Dolls My Fair Lady number four. And she's got all the pretty white lace and the tiara. I'm going to peek, but I think, oh, yep. Okay, that's the last Barbie page. We are going to stop there because we are at 30 minutes, a little over. And then stay tuned for part two, which will sneak peek. Okay, guys, see you next time.